Wrong button. <laughs> Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Arc Ascended. Um, today we're going to be talking about um, my preferred single player settings. I've been working on these since the game came out. I've been working with a team of my admins and whatnot, and then also on my single player series. So um, these settings are the ones that I have kind of uh, figured out work really well together. There's some math that goes on in the background when it comes to like mating and stuff like that. And then also ones because a lot of times when I'm playing single player, I, I want to play single player. I want to be the only survivor. I want it to be just on myself, but also I don't want to have a major detraction from the uh, public servers, from the live servers, from the base game is what I'm trying to say. And so my settings, they're more, it's just the exact same difficulty as the public servers, as the live servers, but also certain things are sped up when you're playing single player because there's a lot of times when you, you know, you uh, get on to uh, your game and then you just want to, you just want to play. You don't want to have like this major three day investment that you have to log out in between all the time and then come back to and... Yeah, it's just that that's just not that fun. All right, <laughs> especially when you're playing by yourself because it's not needed. Um when you're uh, you know, people have various reasons for playing single player. I do it because I want to challenge myself. A lot of other people do it because they just want to pop on for 2-3 hours after they get home from work, play the game and they want to actually accomplish stuff, not just have that 3-hour play session be a big extension of a much grander 7 to 10 day project which is breeding a dire wolf, right? So yeah, we're going to uh, jump into my settings that I use, and yeah, let's uh, let's do this. All right, so uh, let's pop into this one right here. Now this is my game, so I'm showing you exactly what my settings are. All right, so for mods, I I don't have any. All right, uh, you can actually you can get whatever mod you want. Honestly, I'm not gonna judge. This is your game. Play it however you want to. I'm just not using any of mine. All right, um, but uh, let's see. All right, so getting into the game rules. These ones right here, no change. All right, um, like I said, I like to have the game as close to uh, um, as close to public servers as possible. And then these ones right here um, for the creature. Once again. No change. I didn't change a single one of these. Structure. This one right here, I did change. This is the first change. Is uh, disable uh, structure placement collision. Uh, by default, this is turned on. If you turn it off, you can get a little bit better snap spots. Um, well, actually, I didn't change it. I turned it off because there was that 50-50 bug. Let's turn that back on. All right, so now we're disabling the structure placement collision. So you can actually build and you can get a little bit better snap spots. Although... Just be aware, there is a bug that my admins and I have been uh, working with where certain things, if they're placed incorrectly, will get teleported to 50-50. They may have fixed this um, in the last month that the game's been out, so just pay attention to 50-50 and see if anything uh, spawns there. If it does, then turn this off. All right, uh, let's see. Um, world. All right, so with this right here, um, like I said, I speed things up a little bit. I have the taming multiplier set at 4. And then the harvest yield set at two. So I gather twice as much resources as, you know, regular player. Um, but like I said, I'm doing it by myself. And taming speed, I don't want to uh, sit next to something for three hours while I'm taming it. I just want to get in. I want to tame it. 15, 30 minutes. Yeah, I'm fine with spending that amount of time. I'm not fine with spending three hours. All right. Uh, let's see. So let's go. I do not have... Uh, speed leveling um, myself or um, flyer speed le leveling turned on. If you decide to, that's your call. I'm not going to make that call for you, but I don't have mine turned off. Uh, let's see. Allow unlimited respects. That one is turned on just because. Uh, honestly, you may get to a spot where you're like, oh, I need to uh, wait a level to respec or I need to wait a certain amount of time before I can respec. And I don't have a tribe mate here that uh, that can actually craft this thing, but I need the Engrams. Turning this on kind of it kind of negates that because, like I said, you're all by yourself. All right, rules. Uh, let's see. Let's get into. Let's see. Allow third person camera turned on. Uh, player joined. I have no clue why this is turned on. I never open it up, but that is all right. Enable crosshair turned on. Um, now let's see. Let's go all the way down. And, 
Yeah, the only thing I have turned off on the bottom section here is use single player settings. By default, that is turned on and it's hidden way down here at the very last one of rules. If you turn this on, you are no longer playing like the live servers. You are no longer playing by default. You are playing by a different set of rules. And if you click this on, none of the breeding uh, stuff that I am telling you will be applicable. Um, because these settings, they 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 alter breeding. They alter the how much uh, damage your damage and health your dinos do. And yeah, if you're going to use single player settings, then just don't pay attention to uh, what I'm going to get further into the video. All right, but if you don't want to use single player settings, then the mating and breeding stuff that I'm about to tell you will actually, uh, you know, it will actually make a difference and it will in it, it'll make breeding a lot better for you. All right. Okay, so now that we've got the game rules, let's go into advanced. All right, so PVE, uh, let's see. I'm just trying to find the ones that I've changed. Most everything is default, but there are certain things that I've changed in here. Uh, flyer carry, make sure that one is on so where you can actually pick up uh, certain things with uh, oh, Argent, Quetzal, stuff like that. Um, no diseases. I have that uh, turned off. Just That's by default off. But I also have non-permanent diseases turned on. Because I want the diseases, but I don't want to have them last forever. I don't want them to wipe out my base. <laughs> I, I want to enjoy the comedy and the desperation of while you have that disease. I just want that disease to eventually end. All right. So, uh, yeah, uh, love, uh, cave flyers. I don't have that turned on, but then again, if you decide to, it's your game, do what you want to PVP. I don't change anything world. Uh, let's see day cycle. I have my day cycle, uh, elongated and I have my night cycle sped up for my day cycle. I have it at 0.5 and the day cycle is the entire day, the 24 hour rotation. All right. So I have mine at 0.5. So I actually have a 48 hour rotation. All right. The daytime speed is even slower. So the 12 hours that you have during the day is actually 24. But since the, uh, um, oh, the day is already twice as long, that's actually a 48 hour period of my daytime. Nighttime recording sucks. It's good when you naturally get to it, but yeah, uh, I, I want my night times to go rather quick. And then here we are with the nighttime speed, which means that it's um, five, which means it's super, super fast. Well, not super fast. It is faster. You do have a nighttime cycle. You do have to worry about Trudons. It's just it takes a little while to get there. And when it does get there, it kind of goes by a little bit faster. I believe in game it takes me about, I believe, five to six minutes to get through a full nighttime cycle. It's not that bad. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, uh trying to go through here and find out spoiling time. All right. I have my spoiling time set to two because I want my, uh, um, my mutton to last a little bit longer. I want my prime meat to last a little bit longer and it does change the way you play a little bit, but you don't have anybody else going out there farming stuff for you. So I don't really see the problem there. I mean, there is a little bit of a difference between this and the live servers, which means that, uh, you have to farm less prime meat. There's a trade off there. All right. Um, let's see. Corpse de decomposition time. I have it set to two because if I die, I'm the only one going back to get it. So, uh, yeah, I'm the only one going back to find my corpse, loot it. And sometimes in ASA, finding your corpse in the foliage, it's hard. All right. <laughs> and you get, you know, you get up to about like the 25, 26 minute mark, and then you start to panic. This right here, it extends that 30 minute uh, decomposition time to one hour. So it gives you a little bit more time to do it actually twice as long to find your corpse just in case. All right. Now we getting into oh the next uh, little section right here, resource respawn interval. There was an issue when um, ASA first came out. I'm not sure if it uh, if that has changed because this is what I changed my respawn interval to, and it worked really well with single player. There was a there was a bug that it was just taking too long for resources to respawn in single player. I turned mine to 0 0.05. I haven't had a problem. All right, and that's that's my testing methodology on that. I put it to 0 0.05. Haven't had a problem, and I left it. So that's what I did. All right. Um, setting up. Let's see. 
uh, egg lay interval, or no, mating interval. All right, so 0 0.01 is my mating interval, the time in between where dinos can actually breed with each other. Now, I actually, uh, I I tested this with thylacolios. I tested this with argents. I even tested it with direwolves. And actually, so far as direwolves. Usually, I test it with UDs. I haven't gotten to that point yet on my single player game. So I've tested with thylas. Thylas are notoriously hard to difficult, uh, hard to raise and get a full imprint. And I was able to do it with quite a bit of time in, in uh, you know, in between. So I'm pretty good with this one. I'm pretty, I think I've got it nailed in. Once I get to UDs, I may change this a little bit, but I don't see how I'll be changing it too much. And I'll show you exactly how I'll change it here in a sec. All right, um, so um, the t and I was saying on Argents, um, the 0 0.01, uh, every, z every 0.1, every uh, one hundredth of a percentage led to 10 minutes um, interval in the Argent breeding. So if I had it 0.2 or 0 0.2, it was 20 minutes in between breeding. This right here is 10 minutes. Now you cannot set this to zero. Well, you can set it to zero, but when you log out of the game, it'll default to a 1.0. Sometimes you won't catch it. All right. Um, but yeah. All right. So I just have mine locked in at 0 0.1 because that'll save, it'll stick, and it'll always be like that. And it doesn't really matter. So I've got about 10 minutes in between each breed. So if I want to, you know, actually get a bunch of stuff bred up, there you go. All right. Egg hat speed, 30. Eggs in this game can take quite a long time, especially when you get into the higher uh, tier stuff like the gigas and quetzals and stuff like that. 30 is a relatively easy and quick hat speed. It takes about... 12 to 15 minutes sometimes for the higher echelon ones, but yeah. All right, uh, over here on the right side, I don't have any of that turned off. The baby mature speed I have set to 42, and it works out really well. And what you have to do, you have to balance the baby mature speed and the cuddle interval um, if you want to get the uh, proper... Uh, baby raising up and be able to get their full imprint. So 42 actually raises them up at a really good rate. And then the 0 0.03 on the cuddle interval means that you can actually get a full 100% imprint on it really easily. Now, um, when I get to UDs, if I can't get that, I'll actually, I'll probably change this to 0 0.02 just to see, but that'll also kind of throw off all the other dinos because... Yeah, uh, so, but for right now, 0 0.03, it works out really well. I've had really good results with this, so this is the one I'm sticking with for now. All right, wild dinos, uh, I haven't changed it at all. All right, tame dino, uh, don't change this at all. Once you start changing this, you are no longer in the same realm as the live servers, because on live servers, they don't change this. All right, player, I don't change this. Once again, check the um, thing I just said like five seconds ago. All right, uh, XP multipliers. Once again, I don't change it. Um, if I uh, decide that I want to go with a little bit slower, I'll turn down the XP just so where I can actually have a little bit more time in the early game. Because in my opinion, the early game, it's wicked fun. I love the and the beginning, the middle, and the end. I love the beginning and the end the most. The middle is, is good. I do have a lot of fun there. But when compared to the other two, I prefer those. All right, so miscellaneous. Uh, these ones right here... I don't think I've turned off too much of those. I'm just trying to uh, take a look at this really quick. See if I've changed anything. Uh, show floating damage text I did turn on because that was by default off. Um, yeah, I don't think that uh, I've changed any of that other stuff. All right, so uh, let's get into game rules really quick because there's one thing I didn't cover here. And that was, yes, okay. So maximum difficulty. This is one of the ones I've been getting a lot of questions on. So I'm going to cover this. Maximum difficulty I have set to on, all right? Now, if you're running a server, it's been my experience that when you set up the maximum difficulty, you have to have it on and difficulty level has to be def has to be set to five, even though it says if not maximum. Um, in single player, setting it to one means you have level 150 dinos because you have maximum difficulty turned on. That's been my experience so far. Hopefully your results are the same. Um, I've got uh, three servers up and going, and then also I've got my single player by messing with. On my servers, I have to have the set to five just to get 150 dinos. On my uh, 
Um, single player, I have it set to one, and it gives me 150 dinos just because I have maximum difficulty checked, and I have 150 dinos. All right, now remember, every time that you set up your uh, um, set up your settings, every time you do any set um, changes on here, you click Save Settings, and although I have noticed that saving settings only kind of changes things Whenever you click it, there's there's about a 75% chance that it'll save it. I've had some times where it just doesn't save it. You have to log into the game. And then once you log into the game, it 100% changes all your uh, saves all your settings. And then you are good to go. Wait for it to load up. And there we go. Everything is completely saved. All right. But hey, I hope this uh, um, video helps you out with your single player settings. Uh, these are the ones I've been using. I've been testing everything in the um, last couple uh, weeks ever since ASA came out on several servers, then also my single player. And these are the ones that I've pretty much decided that I'm gonna be using for a while, unless if there's a patch that changes certain things, but then I will also get back and I'll notify you guys. All right, so hey, I hope the video helped you out. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps me out. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is uh, Flinger and take it easy, everybody.